Uh, evening everybody, it is um, 20 to 7, episode 40, uh, Tuesday, I hope everybody had a good bank holiday weekend, uh, quiet one for me, but uh, back into the swing of hopefully, okay, so, um, let's have a look, see what we've got on the go this week, um, so it's starting here, little Nemo van, um, this one's uh, had a service and um, a health check today, um, we've already replaced the offside cow spring, but it snapped the other side, um, quite prone to cow springs on these. Um, it also needs a couple of tyres on um, because you want to be in front wheel drive van. Um, the, the tyres work hard, but cow springs on its way. In fact, we only beat here, which it is, yeah, it's just arrived this afternoon. Now. Um, so we'll get a cow spring on this tomorrow, um, and that will be going back to um, going back to uh, Smart IT tomorrow. I'll be right tomorrow. Um, again, we've got a bit of a run of it this week. So, as with uh, last week, what well, was timing chains and um, uh, uh, oil pumps on, on rangers, we have a, a few points to come off. Um, this is the first one which is getting started tomorrow. Um, so, again, pretty much like when we talked about this, when you do anything on the EGR side or on the exhaust side of it, or turbos, etc., uh, it's body off. Um, and I know sometimes that sounds like a lot, but when you get the swing of it, it's actually easier to take the body off. I mean, when the lads get into the running, um, it's repetitive, you know, what take off, etc. And it can't actually take them uh, less and less time as they get on. However, like I say, um, this one's got a, a, a split EGR pipe, so um, the body will come off that. It'll, again, it's in the workshop now, ready to start thing, hit the ground run, and he'll be doing the first thing in the morning. Get the air, get the body off it, and uh, get the EGR pipe replaced on that. But again, we need to see if there's anything else, because um, you, you can't really see. Um, we, we know it's been an EGR pipe, but that, that could be all stuff. You'll just not know until you get it. Um, there's the lesser spot in the bottom. Uh, right around the back one for a change. Um, Range Rover Vogue, uh, we buy this one. Uh, nice colours actually. Yeah, like that. Um, not a fan of the front, but you know what I mean? Yeah, nice little car. Um, it's, this is the, so this is the 4.4. .4. Um, it's got no leak, which we need to investigate again um, here for tomorrow. So I can't really tell you a lot about the car at the minute, um, but uh, so it's, it's uh, got no leak. It's also coming with um, an electronic braking fault as well. So this one's got intelligent electronic braking. Um, it's coming on the dashboard saying there's a fault on it. Um, so both things will be looked at tomorrow, investigate, see what they are, um, and then um, get that fixed. Um, so again, um, one of our very good customers, um, as you all are, we buy uh, car that one. Um, so, so we need to get a prep through the workshop. Um, so the customer can obviously take the review of your car, of course. Um, Range Group, um, series Benz Sprinter. A couple of things to look at on this. Um, there's a fault with the back door. Um, it's got an engine management light on. Um, there's a couple of other things as well, which sorry, I, I, it's a couple more days. But again, another job um, drop off tonight, ready for to go tomorrow. So we'll have a better update on that for you tomorrow. Actually, what that was, um, as I say. Yeah, and you managed right, back doors to look at. Um, sorry, it's been a long day, I can't remember what the other, there's, there's a few things to look on that, but like I say, go through the workshop tomorrow and we'll, um, we'll, we'll put a list on that and we'll, we'll let you know what happened. Let me know what tomorrow. This is the um, Audi, which we talked about a bit. So, as I said here at the time, um, if you look, the fuel pipe um, runs from the engine bay um, down through the inner wing. It then goes behind the strut leg there, as you can see, um, and then drops down um, underneath, and then it runs along the body of the car. Um, so a, cu a couple of reasons that we're trying to do this. One is one is obviously costs. Um, sometimes you know there's not a great deal of it nowadays, but if we can if we can do it, a good repair and an adequate repair for the customer. Um, and keep the costs down. And what I mean by that is obviously not replacing the pipe, which will be an Audi part only. You have to come direct from TPS. And as you can see where it runs here, I mean to do that, it's just a mammoth job to, to get the get the pipe out of it, uh, running it along there and along the, the, the car. Um, so what we'll try and do is, as long as we're happy that it's an adequate repair, and that's, there's some instances where, where, where we'll do this and where, where garages will do this, it's a good thing. Um, we will try and do it um, simply because if you know it's it's it cuts down on work. Um, and of course the biggest thing is it reduces the cost to the customers. Um, so so that's, that's what we're doing with that. Uh, when the process, you can see the, the pipes in there, uh, we've cut out the, the, the bit of pipe that was um, 
that was wood. I can't. I mean, I can't even show you the, the hole was that small, but it's it's a, it's in this part here, um, as you know. So we've we'll cut that out already. Um, the the main hard part of it is done. It's just a matter of um, we've got the right bore size pipe today. Um, that's in there now. As you can see, it's it's kind of rooted, rooted roughly. Uh, well, it is rooted roughly, and then um, we'll get that fitted tomorrow um, and make sure that, that's okay. Um, so yeah, this is the one. As I said the other day, so um, what it's done is this one's split the pipe. Um, you, there's not a great deal. I see. Probably you, you've got to get a gist of what it is. So if you if you look down there, Red, you, you probably not be able to see with, unless you've got the light on the camera. Um, the oil cooler's down there. Um, there's a pipe which comes from the oil cooler to the engine block. Uh, that pipe split. Um, it's gone soft. Probably had some oil on or some diesel at, at some point. If you look, it's very, very close to the um, diesel fuel filter. Um, probably got some contaminants on the pipe, which has caused the pipe to go soft. And, um, and, and then it's just split. So again, with this one, as I said to you, that, that, that pipe there, or where it is, I've got the old one with this. You, 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 you cannot buy the pipe by itself. You have to buy the cooler, the oil filter, the pipe, um, the, the, the union which goes into the engine in the engine block you've got to buy it all together um, and, and it's like 340 quid plus the vat um, so again as I said here you know with this one we've took it apart um, we'll get a, get the bore of the pipe and um, that's the sheath that goes around so it's approximately that diameter of pipe uh, we'll make a bit of pipe um, and then we'll put it in um, and again as I said as long as it's a good adequate repair and we'll do that because again we just want to keep the van on the road um, again, just just reduce the cost for the customer. So so we're happy that we're going to do that. So so that one's uh, that one's in the process of getting done. Um, that one's that one will get put back together. I think we need to. I don't know if Paul was getting paid this afternoon for it. But if he hasn't already got it, we'll get that in the morning. Um, Puma, cool now, whatever it is. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, you know about this one. This is the one we're just waiting for parts for the upright. Um, again with this one. Um, that's that's the upright there, Red. I, I showed you a bit on the on the video at the back end last week. But as you can see, the upright goes from there, runs up and it's a high upright. So um, again, dealer part only, and another dealer part only. Um, you you tend, tend to find that there's not a, a great deal of aftermarket things for 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 for, for, for pieces like this. Um, so again, with this one, um, the the upright is on a delay with Jaguar. So we have managed to find one on eBay. Um, but of course, with EBA, that's put in a delay in getting the part. Hopefully, we'll get that for Thursday. Um, try our best to have the car back on the road for the customer for the weekend. Put him back in his own car because, you know, it's it's an inconvenience. As I said, explained you last week, it's it's because it's an alley upright. Um, and when you go to talk the boards, it just snap like a carrot. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm, it's easy for me to say. But it is one of them things we we see quite a lot on on Audis. Um, again, if you look underneath this one, you can see this one's got a very very similar setup. Uh, that's the upright on that one. Um, very very similar setup, but very very common setup on on your your, your upper market cars. You know your your, your BMWs and Mercedes, your Audis, um, your Jaguars, your Land Rovers, multi-link set, setup on suspension, um, and that's that's what it is. Um, this is the red Audi that was was in the car park last week again, as I said here. Um, the clutch, the, the, the cars going back together now. Um, the, the hard part of it, the, the crux of it, is done. Um, that's the old clutch. With with these, a lot of people, have, if, if if you know your Audis and your, your BAG stuff, um, it comes as a, a clutch and a flywheel complete. It's one unit. Um, that bolts on the flywheel that the, you put the box in. As I say, the, the, the car's going back together. The job's progressed well. Had a couple of snags with it today. I would have ideally loved to have, that, have this one ready today and back the customer, but um, we just ran out of time with it because quite often you, you'll, you'll get a couple of un unforeseen <coughs> circumstances, which which unfortunately delays the job. Um, however, um, as I say, uh, it is back together. Uh, that'll be finished tomorrow. That'll be done tomorrow. Yeah. And what is in our car park? Um, GTD, which had the belt and water pump on, that's just being used at the moment. Um, little pool got recorded over the weekend. Um, again, we haven't looked at look that one yet, but uh, we suspect it's a clutch fault, clutch failure on that one. Um, but again, um, recorded by the RAC. We, we, we work quite closely with the, with the RAC, with the RAC approved. So that one, uh, that one needs to be looked at. Um, yeah. So, but it's, it's in the diary for possibly tomorrow. I think possibly tomorrow. That one. Um, yeah, Range Rover talked about. So I'm not. I'm. I'm trying not to repeat things that we've we've already gone through. So, but just to refresh myself. 
Um, again, another one from Weebuy. Um, this is a smash. I think that costs satin, satin bronze, I think. So um, it's been brought to us today um, from from Weebuy. Uh, it's got a foot in the gearbox. Um, but again, as I say, just being dropped off today, ready for to be starting. Um, that's in for tomorrow as well. That'll be started tomorrow. Um, this one, um, uh, uh, this company, this one, um, belongs to Multi Connect. Um, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the owner's, owner's wife's car, this one. Um, so uh, we put a, a, a timing chain kit on this one, uh, one of the many that we've done. Uh, the customer's brought it back. It was, it was a while ago. Um, it's just, she thinks it's just down a little bit on power um, and also there's a bit of black smoke out the exhaust um, so again with that we, we do a few of these whether they suffer from AGR problems I, I think if you remember we had a white Jaguar in um, last week which is a similar engine to this one and the EGR had failed on that one um, there's a possibility this could have a similar EGR fault you know down on power black smoke um, it ties in with, with, with possibly something like that. But again, in for tomorrow, uh, ready to be started. Uh, it's what, that, that's got dropped off, so we, we'll have it on that one. Um, we we'll know about that one, we we'll know about that one. Um, that's the one of them that last week that we did, that car's now good to go. Um, I've put about 30, 40 miles on that car. This is one of them that, um, if you're on Friday night, was just getting finished off in the workshop. Um, the time change done on that one, back together. I've done my final checks on this morning, my fluid levels, etc. Um, and that was good to go. But the customers were waiting for Friday. Uh, so we'll collect that one on Friday. Drives nice, that one. It really drives really, really well, that. Peugeot Boxer, Citroen really a similar van. We recovered that one over the weekend. Um, it's a non start. Uh, again, that one's in the down to be done tomorrow uh, as, as a non, a non start fault. Um, quite a young van, this one. I believe it's still under manufacturer's guarantee, um, less than three years old. but. The problem with it is that they can't get a boot in quickly, so the company's decided something that happens is the trade off is that they either st stick the van into the dealer and it doesn't get touched for whatever it is. And again, I I'm not sure what the lead time is, but it could be in sometimes 68 weeks, maybe it's a bit longer. But if you think about it, by the time the van's off the road and they pay all the, the hires, you know, for to keep uh, get another van, etc., and things like that. Um, unfortunately, what we find this a lot is that some companies. Or having or, or, or taking the decision to, to get a fixed BIOS or other garages because when they look at the vans off the road 68 weeks then the, it possibly might the, the, there's the worry or the concern it might not be a covered item under warranty then they've got to hire a van which is probably 75 to 100 quid a day I don't know what that is but I think that's gone up as well and you, you know you've got to have a van you put all that together it's actually cheaper to get it fixed and that's 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 what we're seeing some companies doing now because of because of the lead times, unfortunately. So, so again, yeah, that one, that one, get looked at tomorrow. Um, we'll find what it is. We'll have an update on that one for you. Um, this is the donut van. So we emotated it last week, um, and we've got the van. The the the, 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 the bank holiday weekend, as you can imagine, it was busy and working over the weekend. So um, we got the MOT, got it, got it, got it roadworthy, if you like, and, and ready for the MOT. Um, but one of the things we noticed was. The customer was concerned that it was using have to put about a litre and a half of coolant in at, at, at least at least once a month. Um, again, very common thing. That, that there and that there is, is a similar van, uh, pretty much the same van. Um, but it's just got a leaking water pump. Um, we do a little video a few of them, so it needs a water pump on. And we we'll just need to have an, another look at the battery drain that they mentioned, which we didn't have time to do last week. So we'll have them two things, um, and then of course uh, get that get that back on the road. Convertible. This one is engine management light on. Um, again, in for tomorrow. So um, this one's got the engine light on. Get a look at that tomorrow. Could even be Wednesday with this one. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, but the engine management light on. Again, just drop off today um, for ready for start and work tomorrow, Wednesday, whichever it may be. Um, and then we've got a couple of cars here. The cash guy got me covered by. RAC earlier on today. Um, there's a problem with the back brakes. The, the RAC suspects that this um, this handbrake cable is binding on. But if you look through the uh, look through the wheel there, Ed, you can see that the discs are in very very poor condition. So we do suspect that it's more than that. Um, possibly not a collapse or working properly. Uh, we know the handbrake's not working properly. Um, the the RAC's had a quick look at it and they've said that the handbrake's not releasing properly. So there's either 
when he says that, and that, that, I think it could possibly be a colour back, you know, just you know, putting two and two together and coming up with six. Um, but I, I think it might be a colour as opposed to the cable because of the condition of the brakes. When, when the brakes are like that, there's, there's a couple of things for it. One is, um, it's very rusty there. Um, I, I know a lot of it's down to, down to natural corrosion because on a, on a brake disc it starts on the, on the inside and the outside and the corrosion works its way in. But however, you can see that there's, they're very they're black and you can see there's a lot of corrosion in them. Um, that's normally because the brake's not working properly. I don't think that brake's working properly. Now, a handbrake cable probably wouldn't cause that. It would probably be more than, than a brake not working properly. Um, however, you know, that's, that's, that's what it is. So, so that one again is, is in for Wednesday. We'll get a look at that one Wednesday. Um, but the customer as well, the car, unfortunately, uh, because you can't be driving it. It's, it's unsafe. And the last one for today, um, Renault Megane. This one's been through the workshop. Uh, customers, customer works actually for the, the company that's got, that's got the, the, the van there. Um, but that one's been through the workshop today. Um, it failed on um, two back springs um, and needed uh, and a tyre on. So again, that, that one um, that one that one will be done tomorrow. So we'll get the repairs done on that tomorrow. Um, and that, that one's good to go. So you know, but, so there's a lot of again as you, as you know with us, we've got a massive spread, different different work. You know, we've got engine management lights on. Um, you know, we've got diagnostics. We've got non-start faults. Um, but again, you know, we've, we've got the run of the mill stuff, which is MOT service repair. So that, that's, that's what's good about here, and, and I think that's, that's, that's some of the some of the lads, you know, um, they, they, they often say that they're, that they're not blessed, but you know, it's it, it's quite pleasing that there's there's not one day the same as that because neither legs repetitive. You know, that's you know, you, you just got to keep on, you know, they have it fresh and just make, make a mind, make a mind think about things. But um, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, there we've got a lot going on. Um, another busy week. Um, so hopefully. Um, as we did last week, we'll get everything done and just to turn around and back the customers because I think we've got another bank holiday weekend coming, haven't we? Yes, yeah, so again, it's another short week. We've got another short week next week, so yeah, a couple of short months, but um, but yeah, thank you again. Um, so please like and subscribe, okay? Um, I might see you tomorrow, I might not. Um, sorry, apologies for Marvin, it's just he's been busy again today and he's, he's absolutely filthy, so he doesn't want to be digging this one, obviously, he's filthy. Um, we were planning to get the Fiat up. But unfortunately, uh, went down. It was brought in by another car that wouldn't start. So it's in storage at other other units. So hopefully, um, I remain more on tomorrow morning. Try our best to get that out and get that up tomorrow. So you can have that. We did promise we will do that. So we will do what do what most for to do that for you. Um, so yeah, thank you. Good night, everybody, and uh, we might see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Um, I've literally just pulled onto the valley for work. MOTs at the minute, we've probably lost 20% I would say, um, we need to get one of the Team Valley taxis down to uh, the workshop so we can give it a once over, because we're going to start doing something on a, another channel with um, with one of those taxis and obviously you'll see what happens with that um, as time goes on, but I'm literally just pulling into the to the garage now. I'll see what's going on. Hopefully, me and Gary will have a wander around and tell you the full story later on. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thursday night. Uh, well, it is classed as it is classed as night time. Definitely, it's half seven. So we're going to see what Gary is doing in the front. G Dog. Hello. Come on, Gary. Oh dear, is it that time, Robin? Yes, no, of course go. it is. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, unbelievable. It's a tough time, isn't it, Jim? Is that Ed Whip fellow, Beck? No, Ed's back. Yeah. Well, he was back for a minute, now he's not. Oh, he's gone oh, home. No, what the crack, you 
Unbelievable. Okay, so uh, let's start off. Let's just we need to start doing that, you know. Like, you know, have you noticed like on on videos where they're all like like. Oh, oh wow! There's oh, a camera there. Oh, there's, oh yeah, let's just crack on. Yes, of course. So Gary, what's oh. been happening today? Well, I don't really know what because we haven't been here much, have we? We haven't been much because the no. story goes. No, I've got money for that. We best anyway. not mention the TGI. So <laughs> no, I did get. Okay. I did get a tiny bit of footage on the way to wee bye, but then the battery went flat, so I'm blaming it for that. But well, yeah. it wasn't yet to charge it. Um, and then I basically picked, oh, well, I was going to pick Gary up from um, wee bye Carsimo after our little meeting with Jazz Pal, but then uh, we ended up taking another car for repair, so that didn't go to plan. But then in the end, we decided to go to TGI Fridays for a was it a work lunch well, meeting? Yeah, it was like a yeah, work we did talk about work. work. We did talk about work, so, so let, let, you know, because things might get misconstrued. Well, I can see when this yeah, video goes out, everybody in the workshop will go. Ah! Um, but we did, I, I, I thought it was a productive day. We, uh, very productive day. For the lack of hours we've been here, it's been productive. Been productive. I don't know what we'll produce later. We'll produce something. Should we have a quick whiz around? We'll produce a video. We'll produce a video. Well, actually, we'll just record it. Ed will produce it, I think. Yes. So, in the morning, this little Minsky. We need to have a look at that because there's, there's a wolf for not. Oh, go look at that. Look at the big Dinskys. Dinskys in the Minskys. Oh, it's had this and bad. Yeah, very good. Yes, yeah, very good. This is not one of our jobs. This is just a, it's an MOT for a, a customer, but they've had the distant pads done somewhere. We do the little wash, but it looks fairly decent. Little so anyway, car, little car, get a little wash. Little car, little wash. Ha, ha, ha. So this is in for test in the morning, and then also in for test is a very, very nice um, rain drawer sport. This has only got forty-three thousand miles, I think. Quite, quite. I mean, it's got the uh, bigger Brembo brakes on it. Five big Brembos on it. It's, it's got, um, it's got some kit on this one. Uh, it really is a nice car. Coil. And the design the side steps work? Yeah, yeah, Unheard of. Actually, I do like the black seats with the white mm -hmm. dash because the, so the black the black is a little bit dark in there, yeah. but that is is very nice. First time we've seen this car, new customer. Uh, so new customer, you say? Yeah, new customer, so thanks for and uh we'll have a recommend them. But um but I was I was talking to the fella for the first time of the day, I was saying the car park and um, and you, you know you, you quite often see it, I mean, but it's a testament, it's it's just pride and joy. Um, well, I'll tell you what this man needs for his pride and joy. What's that? He needs a can he phantom. Needs a can yeah. He does need a can phantom to keep his pride and joy on his driveway. We've put a bit of money in him, he's put the spoiler on. Uh, I think the back bumper has an upgrade. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, uh, them bumpers are normally on for me, but this one is a lot better because it's actually got real tailpipes. Yeah, yeah. If only these companies would put real tailpipes on, it makes all the difference. And it's a decent private plate, that. Yeah. Nice plate. It is, it's just a nice car. It's really nice. Actually, I, I really like that car. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice car. Moving on to the, the dock nut van. So we've and seen the, this van the, before. The, 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 yeah, um, so this, this one's just getting the water pump tomorrow, which is already knows what's going on with it. Uh, water pump tomorrow, that's right, it's starting in the morning. And we'll put a battery on today. Yeah, it's at the battery today. Um, so we need to get that finished because that's going back to work over the weekend. Coast bank holiday weekend, so we'll be busy. It's another bank, Gary. How many bank holidays have you fit in this month? I have to tell you, there's too many. Um, the Galfin van? Galfin van. Four injectors. Uh, injectors are in. Um, we'll, we've had to replace the, the leak off pipe. Yeah. Um, which does happen on these sort of, you just kind of get them out and they snap like carrots. Um, so it's had a leak off pipe in that as well. Yeah. So you can see the new leak off pipes. So there's, there's the four new injectors, um, but these, because you just can't get them out of here. Um, the, yeah. The, the, there's like plastic on plastic, but um, see a lot of diesels where you just can't. I, but I think on top of the engine must be that hot. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just gone brittle in the end, yeah, isn't it? I think so. I think so. So yeah, right. that's, that's done. Uh, code the injectors in the morning, uh, and that one should be ready to go. This ambulance I see Mike on with today was a little bit of a headache because it's got air suspension problems. Um, so I think we'll get back on that tomorrow. We might have to get there's, there's a good company um, who will get in touch with you. 
because you gave me that, I, I think we said the little, uh, the little lotus thing, sometimes you struggle because you did not you didn't work on it enough. And um, it's an aftermarket. Yeah, it's just aftermarket. Isn't it on the back it's, end. It's, not, it's not something you see. There's not a lot of literature and stuff out there for him, but there's a fella called Steve who works for a company. Probably to contact him. He's really helpful, helps yeah. a lot with stuff like that. Yeah. Um, this year, we're going to bypass this year. Yeah. This year, I think the Cougar's going to get the sump off tomorrow to try and find that mm. horrible scraping and screeching noise, but to be fair, we just want to forget about that for now. The Passata? Mm hmm. Yeah. I've just pulled it in there, it's like it's haunting a lot. Yeah, that's, yeah. Is that what it's in for? Uh, well, it was supposed to be in today, but um, it didn't arrive until about two o'clock, so you couldn't get it started. Oh, right. So uh, there's, there's some going on with us, but a TDI, a um, few common things on them. Yeah, is it a 16 TDI? I think it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've got this other bag. This is the A3 uh, convertible. Crankshaft, uh, crank position sensor or engine speed sensor on that one. Uh, again, diagnosed just once fit in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Feel sorry for the customer because he's he's bought the car, and I don't think he's had it very long. He's got the warranty on it. Yeah. And our, our shop they put, but the um, the sensor in particular hasn't covered item. Well, you know, if that's not covered, what is? I know that's 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 the worry in it. And then he, I think he's gone back to the garage that he did bought the car off, and they've been as much help as a well wire mesh welly really, so um, not good. Which is no help at all. Shame for them, you know. You feel, you feel for customers when that happens. Not he's good. Not, he's not had the car at any any length of time at all. Uh, I'll tell you what it is, our little friend's on the phone. Hello, Jasper. Yes? Yeah. Yes? Um, I'd probably have to get somebody to have a look at the Not really. Um, so does the ignition turn on? Is he putting the brake far enough? Um, I'd have to get somebody to pop up mate, to be honest with you. Send his address. Yeah. Right, okay, send his address because I'll just fall out of the driver. Tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest with you, but. I mean, we'll be we'll be able to get it. I can't I can't see we're not going to be able to recover it. There we'll get. Don't worry about that. Send his address. We're literally you're, you're mid YouTube video here, so you're you're live on five. Don't swear. And it's only it's Don't only Jasper that answers the phone at this time of night. I knew it was going to be a problem. Okay, Tika. Cheers. Try. Right, so Jasper's just been on the phone, and there's something wrong with his his brother's car. Well, he says his brother. Well, that's to be it. He tells us everybody's his brother. Like, so his, his, his brother, his, his cousin, cousin, his uncle. And if it's uh, a girl, it's a sister, yeah. auntie. Yeah, we've heard a lot. But anyway, anyway, there's a problem, and the car doesn't start. So he wants to go and get it from yeah. uh, Newcastle tomorrow. That, so we'll sort that out. That's what we do. So that's what we, that's what we do. That's what we do. So. What is it for, Gary? Um, so, we, we, we started this one the other day, but um, the one going in the back, it's 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 got the, the big kit in the back, because it's, as you can see, lens group, yeah. lens for drains. Um, what do they do, guys? Um, I have to Google that. Should we Google that and find out? Yes. Okay. Um, but it's one of the things it's got is, uh, again, a little bit like that one over there, uh, injector number four has gone outside tolerance. Yeah. So, when the this is obviously the, the code in the injectors, it's just measuring the injectors, um, and it just can't measure the injector anymore. Yeah. So um, again, it's, it's a Mercedes. That, 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 fairly common for it. Fairly common for it. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Um, there's a problem. The radio doesn't switch on, which normally on these the the the, the 906 or 907, whatever it is, it's probably going to be a new head unit. Yeah. 
they're not badly priced them actually. Um, and as I say, this is a problem with the back doors. It's a problem with the back doors and also a problem with the lights, but as, as you see, we couldn't get this door open. Um, yeah. And then we couldn't get into it, so the, I mean, they, they've been today and we said, look, we're not climbing further than safety reasons. But they've been today and managed to get the doors open. Good. Uh, so we're at it now. Just need to, put a, need to put a crap list on it and see what it is. But again, usual, usual stuff, the back lights. Crap are, list, Gary, I've never heard you say crap that. Crap list, ah, yeah. Is that because you're live? That's, 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 the, that's the new thing. Crap spelt with it. Shh. I, but that's, that's, everybody says that, don't let's, let's, be, let's be different. Let's be different. Let's be different. Well, definitely different here, Gary. Yeah, you're right there. Um, but it, it, I think the, the back lights, it's come up with a, a back light fault, but again, they're common for getting water into them and the connectors and water. Just the usual, you know, it's, it's a Mercedes Sprinter. Yeah, it's a Mercedes And sprinter. last but not least, Oof. we Com have... Controversial. Yeah, and so, so yeah, again, the green oval strikes back. Yeah, it's ready to start. So this is getting the oil cooler, Yeah, which is underneath that's, that's basically all that. There, yeah. It's quite a way down, actually, mm -hmm. under there. No, I wouldn't say it's the biggest job, but it's a, it's fairly in depth, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Good package, you don't lump that, isn't it? No. Aye. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a Ford lump that. Mm. In the it's a Peugeot Citroen in the three litre. Yeah. Nice engine, but when they go wrong, they are poof, astronomical money. These big, uh, these four point fours. I think, I think we looked the other the other day, and there was a, there was a, a second hand one with nearly hundred thousand miles on. Like it was seven grand. Jesus Christ. Seven grand. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable, bloody believable. It is believable it's because ridiculous. we're yeah, quoted. Because it, is, cause it, yeah. Is, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, have we got anything outside exciting, Gary? No, I think everything outside is just one of the mill stuff. Is the oh, what happened? Oh, what have we got, guys? It's not really exciting, but a couple of things have moved, which is good. Oh, we have movement. A couple of things have moved, which is good. Um, so. Disco 5. Disco 5. That is nice. That I is, really like uh, that. You know, it's, it's funny because... I like because all of them are painted in black. If you look at that one, that's a very, very similar colour combination to that one. It is? Yeah. That is a really, really nice car. But this this one's... Um, it must have had a screen... Because it looks like the original Land Rover screen. Yeah. Um, but it's it, it must have been out at some point because it's got a water ingress, we can see, coming through here. Um, and it's, it's it was originally brought in for a, um it's got a battery drain on it as well so the worry is as you know there's quite a lot of control modules in, in the low area yeah we need to check them we might have a little bit of water ingress definitely. so we know it's definitely the screen but the the, the follow on after the after yeah. we don't know someone's parked some old trans in here yeah that's oh, it's got them uh can you see them new them new alloys called curb alloys yeah Come on, Simon, sort it out. Mm. Oh, look at the Ranger. Yeah. Right, so the Ranger's um, back, that's, back for MOT. That's back for MOT, yeah. Aye. Just needs an MOT. Um, so we'll stick a little MOT onto that. That little, oh, there's a sitting there, man, that we're looking for. Oh, couldn't, see it, for yeah. the, couldn't see it for the Ranger tyre. That was hidden behind the Ranger wheels. Aye, that's it. Uh, <laughs> that's in for a battery and a charging problem tomorrow. So the, um, the Peugeot's now moved, luckily. Peugeot done. To get some parts coming in. Uh, that was one of the long term was all we in for the gear selector in. Yeah. Um, that's fi that fixed that straight away the day. But we'll just put a few miles on to make sure it sits okay before it goes back. What's it be ready for? Um, vibration on acceleration. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah vibration yeah, yeah, yeah. on acceleration, so needs, it's in for tomorrow. Um, that, um, this Disco 4, this had the body off today. Because we never got a chance, well, we're too busy stuff in our face the TGIs. We never, uh, we never got a chance to show you with the body off. In fact, we've had two bodies off this week. We haven't shown you either of them. But the body's been off, turbo done, and that is all good to go. Um, the Jag, that's the one with the hub that was split. That's all good to go now. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go back tomorrow. And then this is probably the most, it's got to be one of the most well-used, um, I wouldn't say abused, but it's definitely well-used um, Audi RS3. So it's... Been in for MOT, it failed on um, it failed on this tyre here, that's all done now. And a number plate bulb, we sorted that for the customer. Yeah. Um, I'll be taking that disco. That is done, that was in for MOT also. Yeah. And this was the RCZ that was in for, it was, the REC towed it as a timer issue, but it was actually just a cam sensor. So, nice cheap fix. 
and it had a horrible tuning box on which we don't normally like um so we've took that off for the customer just to save any hassle in the future how and we doing that, guys and that as they say is that well we've got the rac van over there but that's not until next week that's getting the wet belt and everything done but we need to wait for approval for that from rac so i think i think it's approved now it's just i think the, the biggest thing with that is i think there's a, there's a bit of a backlog on parts oh my good um, god gary so yeah for a change unbelievable how we done guys i think we're done Gary, as, it is. As, as the oven said to the chicken, you're done. You're right, son. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good night now. Oh, Gary, could you say good night? I, I did, I said good night. You didn't even look at the camera, I, Gary? I, I know, yeah. You know why? Because I've got this thing, because I'm actually glad we outside because I feel like you'd probably do a slice of toast on my face. <laughs> I've, I've got Ronnie Red face on. I don't know why, but I'm just really. Thank really God that man walked thinking, outside. And I'm thinking, what's going on? Yeah, so anyway. Um, let's have a slice of toast for our supper. Gary, you still haven't said it? Did I not? No, you've That's... talked about it. Let's just say goodnight. It's goodnight for me. And it's goodnight from him. Yeah! <laughs> See you next time. It is Thursday and somehow we've even got you on camera before lunchtime. Um, I'm literally just going to go for... Hopefully it'll be a very quick meeting if we buy cars some more. Just to go through a couple of invoices, jobs that we're, we've done for them and jobs that are coming up as well. Um, Gary's already there, he's dropped a car off that we did, that he's dropping the black uh, Discovery 4 off that we took the body off. Um, he took a home last night for a longer test drive, it's nice to try and do 20 to 30 mile of them just to make sure they're perfect. Um, for some reason they take a little bit of bleeding the pool off but he said that car was perfect, the brakes were good. Um, so I'm literally two minutes away from them now. So me and Gary will come back in the same car. Um, basically just cause these are invoices that are missing. Um, either we. Right, Jimbo has took the, or Jewel Media has took the little gimbal we use for this camera. So we're gonna be stuck with this. Basically the big sucker that goes on the windscreen and a camera. That's the man I'm looking for just there. Dun dun! Jimbo's took the gimbal, so we're stuck with a big windscreen sucker. Is a is a camera mount? Yeah, it'll still, still be better than it is anyway. Mhm. Mm yeah. What's your current off? Well, not, well, there's a the team by taxi. I tell you what it is. It looks a bit murky behind this lens. I feel a little clean. Ah, yeah. oh, it's like oh, hey, it's brand new. <laughs> Ta-da! So the team Valley taxi has made it back out of hibernation. It's clean, that one. I mean, it's alright. Yeah, well, well, the wheel trims are shiny anyway. Well, they're all the same, don't they? You kind of make a sub post of a pig's lug, but no, I mean. Can kind I of polish a turd? Yeah, that's the one. So, this Team Valley Taxi's made it back out because there's going to be a little bit of um, YouTube videoings. Videoings? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in the taxi. Yeah. Oh, no, it's me. not going to be fake taxi for anybody who watches the channel, <laughs> no, don't worry. No. Save for your kids to watch still. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, um, yeah. It'd be like, uh, what was it? Um, well, we've got Cliff Richard. We've got Mickey. Here's a Cliff Richard he is, uh, tribute act, so he can drive. It'll be like instead of on the buses, we on the taxis, will not it? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like straight off the buses, him. He's thinking he, he's like um, the tip of the This um, big camper. What's it in for, Gary? Some fun. Can Phantom. The 57 player camper. 57 player camper. Get in that man there. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what yeah, it, it is. is. He's doing the right thing. He is doing the right thing. I'll tell you what, he's definitely doing the right thing. Is when we're looking inside this man's camper, this is the right thing. Gary, get that on. <laughs> get that on. <laughs> Who's it? <a> Sherlock. <laughs> 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 Hey, that terrible, didn't it? I tell you, he's in disguise there, that man. Gosh, 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 he's a bit of a looker. Oh, he's a right looker. What was that? What was that last one there? Yeah, like it was Will Farley. She's a bit of a looker, isn't she? <laughs> so, we replaced the black disco that was in uh, today. That's all done. And this is now being replaced with a red one. 
So one from one disco to another. Then what's happening to this one, Gary? It's like a bit of deja vu, isn't it? The body's covered off. Body off. Body off. Uh, so I think it's the driver's side turbo fuel on this one. Aye. Yeah. So we've got a bit of a problem down here on the driver's side turbine. So we'll whip the body off this one in the morning and we'll see um see what the problem is once we get the body off it's a lot easier jump up on it just about to turn the driver side because i'm thinking you get the uh the other side down now i think we're on back order oh. aye yeah, the harder to get a hold of them we're just getting one stuck on because of the usual yeah yeah and they like a turbo too isn't it? these do like a turbo too yeah. i still love these disco fours aye. i like them better than the disco five now but they're just is that, one of the, is that one of the last ones? It will be on a 15 plate. Uh, 16, I think. 16. Ah, they did it. It's got the, um, the nicer interior in it, the, the nicer the Aye. wheels on the, on the front end. Yeah. The very late ones were uh, yeah. all add blue. Yeah. Good old car, that. Sure. Talk of good old cars. Oh, that's a taxi there. There's a taxi. Taxi, taxi for Fuller. Taxi for Fuller. There is, I'll be one soon because if I don't worry about the tea, it'll be in the dog. Oof. Oof. And talk about tea time. Look at this time. It's ten to eight. Um, I know you'll get wrong, Gary, but I think you're way good knows what time you're gonna get home. You can only see this traffic so often, you know. This. Oh. Go on, Gary, open the bonnet. I know, just. It's a V8. Making oil cooler, right? V. It's, it, it's full of uh, full oil in there. Yeah. yeah. It is the oil cooler that's gone in. So, oil cooler. It also needs a couple of parking sensors. Yeah. This is one of these. It's affecting the um, internal braking system, isn't it? Yeah. It's coming to concerns with the box. I'll tell you one thing, it's it's a selective, shall we say selective body kit that. It's an acquired taste. It is an acquired taste, it's Gary. Acquired You're right. Taste and I'll tell you what it is, I haven't, it's, it's, I haven't acquired a taste. I know I don't want to upset anybody, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if you like that sort of stuff, then great. I mean, tat on. Um, but I certainly haven't acquired a taste for that. Maybe when I'm older, I will. Maybe, yeah. Well, if I was, I mean, I've got a child who's five, she like that. You know what I mean? You draw on that. Yeah. Also, what, what, what colour is it? What, it's a nice colour, that one, different colour. I'm not sure what colour it is, Gary. Oh, I've not seen that one before. It tends to be the, like, the lighter ones, isn't it? The lighter grey. Aye. It is nice, sir. It's like an anthro site, isn't it? Um, the side steps are, they are normally deployable side steps, but these are actually stuck down because the motors have been unplugged. So I'm assuming in the past, that's obviously, well. Again, it's the same as um, Kev Adams. Kev Adams that we did the other week. The, same steps, the, yeah. The motor fails, don't we? Again, you can't get the motors. No. Nah. Um, I think he was lucky enough to get one from a company down south of the internet. Yeah. These aren't available either with Jaguar Land Rover or off um, Bridport. Bridport I'd probably get rid of that back bumper if it wasn't for them steady tailpipes. It's got a little bit of overfinch about that. Yeah, so this one's getting the oil cooler and side steps done side steps. and the parking sensors. Um, this is. This RS3 looked exactly like this last year, I remember, for its MOT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, I think yeah. this man, he must park under a tree. It does, uh, I think it's still over 110,000 miles. 110,000 miles. I tell you, they're, use it, I mean, they're a nice car then. It's a, it's a, it's a well used car. Um, starts and drives nice, um, but uh, just, just obviously look a bit of a tear for a TV. Aye. Yeah, I'll get it in for a TMOT tomorrow and see what it passes off heels on. We well, back this in pads last year, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, Look at that. It is definitely a well used, but it's an RS3. Albeit, it's definitely an RS3. Have we put that um, hanger in? Or is that a little last year? I've got any hangers left. <laughs> it's crazy. That's off last year. That's off last year. It's been that long. Bloody hell. Yeah, yeah. So what's this big Neps fan in for? Uh, feeling of the MOT. Um, feeling of the MOT. That caliper is weaning out the chap. Oh, it needs a yeah, uh, caliper. That caliper's field off. Um, mm. You know, the country guns in the back of the caliper. Something. Yeah. Uh, caliper might be here if not over here in the morning. Oh, CZ? Um, EML, like one. EML. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, we'll 
Moving on. Moving on. Look at that last year as well for Liam Ellis. Um, or is he one? Uh, Awfully oh, thin. And um, I th well, it's, it's not your wet belt until I think 120 months or 120 k. But um, I think obviously that, as you know, they're, they're prone to it. So um, asked, it's on the one link platform for authorisation. So we're for um, the the lease company to come back to it. Um, and just make sure authorised. That probably did a little bit early, just pops up all the problems there. Right? Yeah. Otherwise, and when we do wet belt, make sure we clean out the sump. Yeah. All that sort of stuff. Yeah. That seems to be where the problems lie, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 These definitely get a hard life. These. Yeah. Should we just bypass this ah. cougar? Ah. Whoa! <laughs> um, wait for bits for that. So, we are waiting for the front strut for that. Yeah. So when that comes, hopefully that'll come tomorrow. Get that man straight back on the road. See what's happening with Tiger. It's a beautiful night here at Team Valley. Um, Hope we're GED. That's just, well, that's just living here for a little while. So there's a couple of these, I mean, they're long term. Um, we talked about that one last night. I was speaking about that one last night. Because we're going to clutch yeah. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, the engine's gone bang on that. Has it? Yeah. Kaboom. Kaboom. Right. Is that the one that had an engine somewhere else? Yeah, it had an engine somewhere else. It come here, and I mean, I think it had. Um, it was most of about twenty bolts, and I think I only had two holding everything together. Yeah. Um, and it's I not vaguely got, remember that. It's not got any better. I mean, in fact, I think that's one of the first fans we had off yeah, Parkers. Yeah, was that? It was pretty much the very first fan we saw off Parkers. Um, but it's now to the point whereby it, the, pr the problem was that the, the turbo had gone and um, we put a turbo on, then that that helped with the oil consumption problem. Um, but now it's the, I think the engine's starting to use oil. It's, it's running on its own, and, and it's it sounds dis well. It sounds Aye, good. it's not good. Uh, it's not, um, We're just waiting for Ortho on this rear row sport off the customer. It was basically you got a second hand engine, and he's waiting for the cut the the guy he bought the engine off, whether that's going to get paid for or not. This is in for a Diag. Yeah, Diag, it's ready to go that one. Um, the, the customers complain of um, uh, black smoke or smoke out the exhaust, one of the two. Um, so we've cleaned the, we've done a force regeneration on it. Um, so I'll get picked up in the morning, get swapped over that sun's cars in for an MOT. Yeah, and that's our Range Rover Evogue there, not, the, not this one, this one here. So this is a non-runner, so if you've ever had one of these where the, the only thing that works is the centre lock and the sat-nav please let us know what it is before we go diving into it mm. I'll tell you what is that there that is a good looking Evo yeah, yeah. I like that colour yeah. I'm not sure if it's a wrap or not or if it's, if, if it's actually the car's colour nah it's wrapped that minute yeah, oh, sorry, gotta be it's, uh, just starting to lift up a little bit there unfortunately yeah aye uh, it's just starting to lift nice that I, we, we, I was saying last night was when it was exciting when, when we looked at it, um, but that's had the ABS sensor on. Um, so the ABS sensor has just been interfering with it, the, just the rest of the electric tunnel. Um, so that had a, a near side front ABS sensor on, so it says, I'll get dropped off in the morning and go back away by in the morning. Yep. Yeah. Um, and another disco? That one was we'll talking about, that's, that's ready to go. Oh, Custom, I can't, yeah, put can a time machine on. Pick, yes, I can pick it up on Friday. Lovely. Uh, that's in for Diag tomorrow. Um, well, the donut van's back? And the donut van's back, yeah. So again, we talked about this one last night. Um, we got it through the MOT and got it, got it if you like, um, roadworthy. Um, but it needs a water pump one. Yeah. So the water pump will get done on Friday. Um, we'll get Paul ever up with the battery drain on it tomorrow. Yeah. Because um, it is flattening the battery after a while. Um, and then sometimes it's cranking over as well. So there's a couple of things going on with that. It's, but it's, um, so a little gremlins? A few little gremlins, a few little bits and pieces. Bits he and he spoke about that uh, A3? Yeah, um, again, that one, so I said last night that was in for Diag today, it's, uh, it's got an engine speed sensor fault. Um, so that's got an extended warranty on it. You get to speak to the extended warranty company tomorrow and yeah. um, get the author for that, hopefully. Lovely. And we have over here um, pickup truck from ALS that was in for yeah, service I think, MOT. I think that was in last night. No, no, no sorry. No, I got dropped this morning, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry, I haven't got um, service. Clean van, actually. It's had a service. And that, that is it. Really, really surprisingly, <laughs> a commercial vehicle. I didn't want it. I know. Uh, Normally, if you get a commercial vehicle, they are. It's, 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 it's actually, um, it's mint. It's had a service of the day. A uh, couple reports on the back tyres. But, it's it, what else? Yeah. Good. 
Yeah, good. We see the snow again. You know, it's not fun, but we'll have a wood. Is that it's good to give a customer back one that, that now and again? Aye. Yeah. And that is the one that had the body off the day. So, yeah. Gary spoke yeah. about that last night. Gary's going to take it home and I put a few mile on. Just make sure it's all obviously leak free, squeak free, and all that sort of stuff. Um, obviously, it's had the body off, so you've it's brakes, fluids, everything basically is being drained out of that car. Um, but it's all back together. It's been on test drive, it's good. Gary, give it a little extended road test tonight and yeah. give that back to the customer. Well, I'll go back tomorrow, yeah. Should sure. we fly through the hedge, guys? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Can we get out of here? The Galfin, got a bit of advertising there. I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll get past that. You don't get your wall past there, Gary. Right, Look at the baby Magnum. Just living at, living at large next to the Avanti. I know, a little Abu container down there. Is that doing there? Well, I hope it's not got anything in it. No, that's all right, it's free. It's, it's fluid free. Oh, but nice. I was, I was fearing the worst. What, a truck driver's bucket? <laughs> 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 yeah. it's you, you've got to carry one of them when you get caught short. No. Oh. Yeah. So, Galfin's in for injectors? Well, I think it's going to want injectors. Um, it's the normal thing. The, the, so excessive gone, fuel leak. Yeah, it goes into uh, excessive fuel leak. Detector. It's gone to limp more three or four times. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll just really confirm it tomorrow, but uh, I, th I think it's going to want four injectors. Yeah. yeah. And then, look at that, Gary, there's actually space in the car park. Four spaces, three in this car. This is unheard of. Yeah, we'll fill in the morning. Well, at the weekend, there wasn't one car over there in death row. It's, it's still good though, you know, I mean, you know, it, it's good because, I mean, what well, the car park in the morning is still as busy as it was. Aye. But the good part about it is that, whereas we went through a bit of a stage where by We're just, keeping in cars forever. Keep, you know, I mean, crazy. I mean, I'm, well, some customers' cars were, you know, I had land on them normally, Joe. But, but <laughs> well, do you know, you really can't no, no, service. No, no, Gary, see, listen, I, just catch a taxi, we'll have it away. You should saw that. Sewn it and I'll insure for six months because I'll tell you you'll have it back. Uh, you got your tax on Dara, do it, aye? We'll cash it in. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even funny, that. <laughs> but you know what it is, though, when you get its parts, everything's on back order, know, it, side it, order, you know, the lot. I mean, you know, people are, you know, it's, it's not even funny, but I got to that point whereby. You know, just couldn't get stuff to fix stuff and things like that. Whereas now, um, with, with, the, with, the, with the full complement of uh, staff, if you like, you know, and we're getting through the work and we're getting through it. Yeah. And uh, that, that, that's always good because, like, like, like we said a couple of couple of episodes ago, you know, we just want more lead time down. Yeah. And we are. I mean, I think it was creeping up more than nearly two weeks. You know, like ten working days. Whereas now we're back to three and four. Yeah. So you know, and I, I think that's really, really good. You know, compared to some places. So. Definitely. Yeah. Kind of, kind of complete. Right, I think we'll uh, get the big Daphne the truck in, and then it's home time. That's it. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, well, it's a good night for me. I'm, I'm gonna carry this and find somewhere for it. Right. Good night, everybody. Ah. I'm Mind fooler. I'm a bit confused. Why are you confused, Gary? So. I hope nobody uh, falls poorly over the end because uh, I don't think send that. I'm going to keep on. I hope it's not, I hope it's not a car crash deep because I'll tell you what it is. We need to pick you up. Um, now, normally I, 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 I've often got my finger on the pulse, but um, what's that on for? Diag, isn't it? Light. Right. So is that a, that's the snap. Oh, no, sorry. No, no, I'll lie. Is that that's, the the, that's the one with the airbag is low, low, low. Right, yes. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, switch. That one's the ignition switch. And is that the diagonal? One? That one's the one with the engine management light. Right, okay, got you. Yeah. What's that one for, guys? Oh. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Tell you what it is. Who would drive that? Got a canny set of jugs. Hey! Very good, sir. Very good. Oh, God. I'm sick of looking at this car. Should we tell everybody what's wrong with the car? We made some progress on the video, didn't we? We have made a bit of progress yeah, on this car. Yeah. What's up with it, Gary? I don't know. The progress isn't good, though, by all accounts. It's, it's not good, because yeah, the good. crankshaft is actually moving. Yeah. It's got too much end float, so it's the, the drive plate thing, isn't it? What the yeah. car look? So, is it, is, it the, is it the flywheel? Aye. Right, that's it in the back of the block? Yeah. Right, okay. 
Yeah, I will over explain that. Yeah. Because if you move That's the crank over with a pry bar, it doesn't make a noise until you push it back over again. Right. Not good. Not good. But luckily, we didn't supply or fit or even do anything with the engine. But we'll fix it. We'll, well, we'll we'll fix we it. always get tasks. Tasked even to fix it? Tax, what a tax tax. What a tax, tax. Oh, tax. Oh, we add tax when they yeah, take it elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, we'll Disco 5. That, oh, we spoke about it yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, um, but we know what it is now. Yeah, and we've, um, yeah. I like that car. And I really like their wheels. Very nice. Very nice. Very that nice. Uh, so that needs a windscreen. Resealed. This uh, Phil Mahoney used to say, very good. Very, very nice. good, very nice. Uh, hope, you, hope, hope you're enjoying yourself back in the tail spot, fitting the tails all day. Yeah. Dafty. Big Phil. Yeah, big Phil. Sometimes fill up the grass, it's just not greener, is it, sir? Yeah. Please, if you're yeah, watching, well. leave us a comment. Um, <laughs> you, you know, you know what? I, I said this last week as well, you know, uh, we are very, very thin on the ground with vehicles. So that only means one thing they're all fixed and gone. Yep. Uh, actually, everyone always has a bit of panic. Yep. When there's less vehicles in here, but I like it because it means that they're all fixed and gone. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's just, yeah. This is the Evogue that we purchased, and I'm going to have a little look this weekend. I'm going to try if I can to put a little bit of effort into it. Because last week I spent about 10 minutes, got sick of it, and pushed it back inside. Cool. But, look at that. Well, at, least, at, least the, at least the brakes are Empty ramps. That's what I'm going to do. Aha! The Rodham vehicle. Yeah, it's um, Paul's daughter's vehicles in for MOT. Oh, MOT tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow, sir. Yeah. I think it's clean? Well, no. Well. Look at the Hannah rod up. Jesus. Well, I can only tell you get some wash, and I, I think Paul's even said to himself, I mean, let's drop a minute here. I think he's even said the only time he gets clean is when he does it. Yeah. You know, there we are. Um, that there is an absolute, What? that is a beautiful specimen of a Citroen C3 VTR Plus this is. Look at that beautiful set of gel plates eh? No, unfortunately Gary those marks were all they were there. Oh they were like I was, I was, I was But if anybody does want a nice car, that is a beautiful thing for you to purchase. They're all easy enough. I like They're it. Because yeah. this is the this is the one with the uh, the little ear valve engine which which is better than the 16 valve. Yeah. The little ear valve, a lot more there. reliable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100 percent Look at the glass on that. I'll tell you one thing, I would not want to put a windscreen in that. And then he touched the back headrest. What do you used to call it on the Sky Sky Lounge? Or sky Lounge. Skittering Skittering Sky Lounge. Some uh, some French bloke I thought left about 14 bottles away and. Ah, ah, wee wee! I can see the sky. Uh, ah, it's a convertible, you prat. <laughs> um, ready to go. All ready to go over here. Um, another project, which is yeah. Ah, uh, there's the there's the Team Valley Disco. That'll come in for a little bit. Yeah, right. Um, and then just um, ready to go. Um, the Passat we've got another hours. Yeah, Diag authorized. I'll tell you one thing, Gary. Look at the mirrors. It looks like Batman's car. Oh, he's been yeah. robbed. Oh, he's been robbed. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh. I went off there like the, uh, so on the BMW, it's, it's the M in it, M mirrors. Yeah. What do you think that is? What are we going to call them? Well, Gary, I don't think we can call them anything, because if we do, we'll probably get kicked off YouTube. There you go. Truth be told. Yeah, well, yeah. Little, there it is. I was going to say a Citroen C30, that's actually a Volvo C30. It has been a long day more. It has been very long. Yeah. Um, this is coming as a non-start. Yeah, yeah, pick that up this morning. This was picked up off the, our recovery truck. Mm -hmm. The Vito van is done. Done. Peugeot done. Yeah. The, what about the Docknut van? The, the the fresh hot donut van is all good to go. If anybody is in in the Morpeth area on uh, Bank Holiday weekend, um, you will see this lovely van in the um, in the uh, in the park there. Um, I believe that's that's where they go. Um, so pop along and see Ian, um, lovely fella. He look after you. Um, he, he tells me, and he's, he's going to bring some. He tells me the donuts are very, very nice. Um, however, I've challenged him that he needs to actually prove it. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm not sure I could. I need another donut or two. Going off the walk up my jumper. But um, thanks for that, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. If anybody's in the Morpeth area, um, pop in and see Ian. He'll be ready there. Lovely donuts. 
Um, give us a mention. You never know. You might get next one. Yeah, there's a little bit of a cheeky little extra cheeky, donut. Cheeky, you mentioned Team Valley. You never, you never know. Just give it a give it a mention there. Yeah, don't see. I said mine, but never mind. Lanes for drains done. Uh, we know what's wrong with it. Um, the, the back lights are fixed. The doors fixed. Um, but um, cool and bottle sensor and an injector. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so we'll get that to them on Tuesday. Uh, get a PO number for that hopefully and get that one fixed. Yet another Range Rover in for yet another inlet manifold. Give over, you don't see it. Yeah. A silver black said, surprise, surprise. I'll tell you one thing, I've never seen one of these mm. with a brown dash. Brown dash. You don't see many with a leather dash, to be no. fair. Um, so I think all I there think is. We, I think we put the, the left hand one and it's just it's split you, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Common as muck, Che. Yeah. Common as muck. Common as muck. And that, as the is here, is that. Well, Gary, it's Friday. It's Friday. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. We made it. We well, I was going to say we made, made it full week. It's only four days, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank heavens for four day weeks. What does everybody need to do, Gary, when they go on the video? Like. What else? Subscribe. What else? Smash it. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, we didn't do. What did we do? We're going to get some stick. Oh, no. Panda. Oh, the panda. That's your fault. Kung Fu Panda, that's not my fault. No, no, blame Ed. Aye. Well, can't even blame Ed's, Ed. Ed said, because if you look on the video, Ed said, I had to say that the panda was coming this week. Ah. Uh, so it was Ed's fault. Right, so Kung Fu Panda, we'll have to get it next week because we're actually pretty close to giving away the... Um, Are we? Let's find out, Gary. What, what's the number? Is there a drum roll? <laughs> Let's have a look. Can we find out? Right, so at the minute, as of right now, if you can read that, 8,970 subscribers. Ah. I reckon three weeks. As they say, that, that's close, Che. That is close. That's close, Che. Gary, yeah. that is close. Too that close. That is far away. Yeah. You'll, you'll never get my head in that for you. <laughs> I was going to wind down the lens yeah. for your wallet. <laughs> just for well. yeah. Right, thanks, everybody. thanks for watching, and we will definitely see you next week. Have a good weekend, everybody. Good night. Good night.